Hey Deckers, just a couple of days ago, Hogwarts Legacy got a massive patch, and I mean it was absolutely humongous, including a ton of performance fixes and optimizations, including the one that I'm going to focus on today, which was the bump of AMD FSR to 2.2. I won't go through all of the other changes because they are just way too many, but this has massively improved the look and feel of Hogwarts on Steam Deck. For one, if you've seen our previous video, and I will reference it a little bit later, that used the FSR1 balance mode, you can see here even with the FSR1 quality mode, that drop that we see straight away, and we are still not quite holding 40 frames per second here. But with that AMD FSR2, which is the 2.2 version of the quality, look how clean this image now looks. Now we do get a little bit of blur on the motion as expected, especially at this resolution. And in Hogsmeade, as expected, we still get big frame dips, but it rarely drops below 30 frames per second. But the micro stutter and the big stutters have gone. This is also the case in Hogwarts. We still get some big drops down, especially into new loading areas and from transitions moving around in the courtyard and also the grand area and libraries. But although we get those frame dips, the stutter is nowhere near as bad as it was pre-patch, and for the most part, it stays now at 40 and not 30. Now I am using the 40 cap in game, as it has that option, and if you want to flatten that frame time graph, then you do want to set the Steam Deck to 40 hertz as well, but that messes up with the recording, so I just left that open here. And you can see in combat, this is where it makes the biggest difference. It's so fluid and smooth and looks absolutely fantastic in those combat sections now and will hold that 40 frames per second pretty much solid. Now, if you're thinking that you can't tell much difference from what it was before, to get that 40 frames per second, previously we were running FSR Balance on version 1 and you can see just how good that looked right here. Yes, we were really playing with it, and it did look that blurry, although on the Steam Deck screen it wasn't as bad. Now, back to FSR 2.2, and we can see even with the outdoor gameplay at night with loads of effects going off, we get a couple of minor dips under that 40 range, but otherwise it's incredibly smooth and looks absolutely gorgeous. If you were holding it off to play Hogwarts Legacy on Steam Deck until it had slightly better performance on Steam Deck, then now is a very good time to dive in. We'll update our best settings guide with the latest updates here, but for reference we're running that AMD FSR2 quality mode, low settings overall, with motion blur and chromatic aberration and film grain off. 